Welcome to the Wolfenstein Youngblood Collectibles Guide. In this video, I'm going to run through all the collectibles that you can get in the first major area of the game, Riverside. The good thing about this area is you can get all these collectibles right from the start as long as you have one power. If you or your co-op partner has Bash, then you should be able to get everything. Now, normally in this game, there are certain kinds of doors and barriers that require certain weapons to be able to open or get through. You get each one of these weapons, three total, from completing the three brother towers. Each one contains one. So if you really want to find every item in the game, it's probably a good idea just to wait until you've completed all three towers and you have all the weapons and all of your upgrades to be able to get everything. Some collectibles can be mission locked. Some collectibles don't appear until you've completed a certain portion of the main story. These things can be kind of hard to find. Now, thankfully, at level 30, you get an ability that points out where all the collectibles are on your little mini-map. But there is no regular map you can look at, so you're going to have to rely on your mini-map to find these things. And it can be kind of a pain. Now, before I get started, uh, I'm just going to let this run. I'm not going to talk over all this. Let me just run down all the collectible items you can get here. First, there are three concept chests. How the concept chests work is that there's these red boxes that require codes. You have to find a floppy disk somewhere on that map, get it decoded, and then that will give you all the codes for all the concept chests. Next, there's eight readables, which just newspapers, notes, stuff like that. There's three floppy disks, which usually have codes or some kind of clues on them. There are two cassette tapes, which, you know, they're just some like audio logs, basically. There's eight 3D glasses, which are 3D models and two UVK covers, which are like movies. They're basically like just references and Easter eggs and stuff like that. So like I said earlier, in Riverside, you can get all of these the first time through as long as someone, you or your co-op partner, has the bash power. If you wanna see where all these are, then just watch on, I'll run through everything.
All the way over here. But hey, you wouldn't believe what she could do with her. Shut up and get in the car. <laughs> 